Black Friday is coming up in about a month. Yeah. Do you have any good deals coming up? Oh yeah, man. We go crazy on Black Friday. Every year we go crazy. We go buck wild three days, four days. Get ready. Buckle up, Buttercup. It's gonna get nuts. We do. We shipped out a thousand packages last Black Friday. One thousand. Mystery envelope, mystery box, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're not on our page, I suggest you get on our page. It's a lot of fun. We're gonna put the link up for our main page on Facebook. We have 200,000 followers. So get ready. Hey Nick, what's up buddy? Why did you start your YouTube channel? I'll tell you why. I got tired of watching tool dealers online and I'm like, what are these guys doing? They have no energy, lackluster, no gas in the tank. Sometimes the guys, you know, you just gotta hang it up. Stay, stay, stay on the couch. You're working nine to five. Me, I work 18 hours a day. You, you buy, you buy one tool. Me, I buy them by the pallet. You can't touch me. I'm sorry, man. It's just the way it's gonna be. The game has changed. So if you're not on our Facebook channel, we have 200,000 subscribers. We're gonna put the link up on here. Get on our page. Get the deals we're getting because you're not going to find any better deals, better dealer than me, Nick Morello, number one dealer in the country. I promise you. Get on my page. I won't disappoint you. Okay? Your dealer may hate me. Some of you may hate me, but I'm okay with that. I'm here to save you money. He's trying to. He's trying to send his kids to Yale. Me? My kids went to community college. Hey, Nick. What's up, buddy? What motivates you to sell tools? Well, I'll tell you what motivates me. First of all, I'm not really driven by money. I mean, I, we all like money, don't get me wrong, but that's not really why I do this. I do this because I want to change the industry. I, I like to see, you know, you guys, the mechanics, the hardworking guys in this country to be treated fairly. And I see what a lot of these corporations do to you guys as far as like, you know, a lot of you guys don't realize it. And as we, as you come into the JD Tickle family, we're going to try to like, educate you and, and let you see the light of what goes on with all these companies. What they're doing is, you know, most of these tools are made by about three or four different companies, actually, and they make most of the tools for Snap-on Mac, Maco, Cornwell, everybody. A lot of these guys don't even make their own tools anymore. So, you know, stuff like that motivates me. Also, what motiv what, what's motivating us lately is, at this point in our, you know, business, we're having tools made for us with our name on them by some of these companies. So the same company that makes a tool for Snap-on, or Mac especially, could now make them for us, JD Tico. And uh, you know, we just had these done. And these are a prototype. They got our name on them. You know, we're selling these. These are to be, they should be here shortly. We have a lot of stuff coming out. But that's you know, we want, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a brand, and uh, you know, go you know go that route, expand the brand. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna try to we're trying to we're gonna try to get the same quality tools to you guys as the guy in the truck. And we want to give you the tool truck experience online. Nobody else will do that, but we will. You can call us, talk to us. Last night I was, I was, I was at my desk doing some paperwork, and some guy's like, "Hey, can I call, talk to you about a scanner?" I'm like, "Yeah, man, give me a call." Guy called me up, and we sat there and talked up about an Autel scanner for about a ha half an hour. Actually, Nick walked by. He was like, "What are you doing? Are you still working?" I'm like, "I always work, bro." But the guy did buy a scanner, you'll see, uh, MX-808. Anyway, guys, that's what, I'm trying, that's what mo motivates my success in the industry is the motivation, and that's gonna be for you guys getting better deals and better knowledge. You know, what we're saying is uh, tool truck knowledge and internet pricing, right? That was one of our, our first key words. That and the uh, one we always say, which is what, Nick? Go for the price, stay for the show. Exactly. What's up, buddy? Uh, how long have you been selling tools? 35 years. First job out of high school. Not a lot of guys can say that, but I can. My first job was in a tool truck. 18 years with one company. Hated them. Lost tons of money with them. Went independent. Opened up my eyes to the industry. Okay? Corporate America is here to steal money from you. On any level. Any corporate tool dealer is a crook. You can quote me on that, too. Okay? Hey Nick! What's up buddy? What's the most tools you sold in one day? <laughs> you know, I really don't like talking about money when it comes to monetary. I don't, I don't like talking about monetary value when it comes to like, you know, what we do or done. But what did you ask me? What's the most tools you sold in one day? BMW. Not a three class. Not a five class. 
I would think a seven class we've done in a day. Or like a six, a six series. Six, a B&W six series. I've done that in a day. Nice middle room. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think we did the seven, but we did the six. Yeah, I remember that. That was Black Friday two years ago. We rang a bell. BMW size bell. But uh, yeah, we go crazy on Black Friday. I want you guys to like stick around for us. Because this Black Friday, I'm going to crazy. I promise you. I'm going to... I just bought four pallets of tools for Black Friday. Yeah, I know. It drives me crazy too. And you know what? I got more coming. And we're going to go crazy. And when you buy, we ship. Nobody faster in the business. Download the app, JDT Co. Hey Nick, what's up, buddy? What's your best-selling tool category? Well, in the store, there's two. I mean, we sell a lot of lighting products. Easy Red being our number one seller. We sell a lot of light lights and Milwaukee Impacts. This is our bread and butter deal, man. Through the years, we've sold thousands, thousands of all of them: half inch, three eighths, mid torques, high torques, whatever. That's our two biggest categories. But I'll tell you right now. Black Friday, let me give you a quick little demo. You see these? So this is sexy stuff. Let me just keep on, I'm, I'm, I apologize. What was it? Yeah, so, you know, we sell a lot of Monster, we sell a lot of gear wrench, we sell a lot of different brands, a lot of different categories. But let me tell you something, guys. I just bought a pallet of these, 53 piece set, okay? And I'm embarrassed to say what I paid for, paid for them, but I think I'm gonna do something with the Black Friday deal. This is crazy. That's sexy. This is a good. This is a good. You know what this is good for? This is good to get to your side check. Put it in your little drawer by your refrigerator. In case you got to do a little work around the house, you ain't got to go home and get tools out of your home box. She'll have it in her drawer. Good. That's a good side lesson, right? Put write that one down. Next tips of the day. This goes out to all my side pieces. Side pieces. Side pieces. Hey Nick, what's up, buddy? What do you not like about the tool business? The, 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 the bad thing about the tool business these days is, like Amazon. Amazon's destroying this whole business, I think. You know, and like when you say, when people will say, hey, you know, you guys are doing the same thing Amazon's doing. We're really not. I'll tell you why. Because you can call me anytime you want. I'm open 18 hours a day, just about. You have a question about a warranty issue, a question about a tool of the warranty. I mean, we had a guy who said on our page that our flashlight couldn't survive a 10-foot drop. So you know what we did? We dropped it. Amazon won't do that. If you called Amazon up and said, hey, drop my flashlight, they'll laugh at you. But will we drop flashlight? I'll send a creeper down a hill. I'll do, any, I'll do anything I have to do for the page. I'm 100% committed to the business, guys. You call, I'll weigh something, I'll measure something, anything you want. Amazon, they'll laugh at you, but I won't. Favorite tool that Milwaukee has come out with recently? You know, they've come out with a lot of good tools. One of my favorites that just came out recently is that new uh, M18 mid torque. That's a bad, that's a sweet, that's a sweet piece. And we just put one on an airplane going out to our buddy out there in, uh, I don't want to say his name, out in Oregon, and he is uh, making a custom boot for it. We we're going to be the first person in the world with a boot for that impact. That's a true story. You know, I'll drink to that. Oh, hey Nick. What's up, buddy? Quick question. Go ahead. How many tool trucks have you owned through the years? Currently on number five. I've had a few. This is definitely one of my favorites. The one before this, my 26 foot Freightliner FL70, was definitely my favorite. Okay? Why do you look at the puzzles? Is there something? Uh, you got what? something on your foot there. What? Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I'll take care of that later. When I'm sweeping up, I'll just I'll put the broom, broom up my ass and I'll get rid of that too. Okay? <laughs> they, got me, they got me packing tools, shipping tools, selling tools. And now I'm sweeping the floor. But back to the tool truck. My favorite tool truck was my FL70, 2002, 26 foot. Had a bathroom in it. Great truck. And I miss it. I miss it every day. But I did upgrade to a 2016 or 17 Freightliner M2 with a Cummins in it. And yes, that has a bathroom in it too. I don't get out of my truck. My guys come out to see me. So we always put a bathroom in our truck. That's a true story. Your tool dealer, does he have a bathroom in his truck? Because I do. Refrigerator too. I gotta go to work. Oh, hey Nick! What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Just filling some bottles up. I had a little lull in my day, so I figured let me get to work and do something around here. You know, I, was, I felt like I was getting lazy. Well, since you're working on some JD Tico products, do you have any new JD Tico products coming in the near future? I do, I do. Well, first, 
I, we, you know, I got I got to post some of this stuff back on the page. This is uh, our uh, JD Tico cordless tool detailer. This stuff will make your tool look like it's brand new. Don't don't sleep on this stuff, guys. Good stuff. And we have Nick's Grime Fighter. I invented this shit in my basement one day. I was bored. I said, you know, let me, let me make some kind of cleaner. And this is what I came up with, Nick's Grime Fighter. Both these things will work better than anything you're buying, especially we'll post it on our page. And we'll put a, we should put a, we put a link up. Oh, this is the good stuff. I was, in, I was in Las Vegas at the bar at Apex in SEMA, and my nephew, which we were all drinking, we are day drinking, and he said, Uncle Nick, we got to come up, come up with a cordless tool detailer. And I was like, that's a great idea. He said, no, nah, I was just kidding. I said, I'm not. Got back on a plane, came home, had this, tip, well, you know, it took us a little while to get it all going, but we started working on it this next day, and we've sold, pff, I don't know, five or six 55-gallon drums of the shit so far. So guys buy it, guys buy it again, so the stuff works. Actually, our friend did a video on this too. Uh, Coon Trucking did a video. Nice guy, like Coon. What's his name? Clay. Clay Coon. Nice guy. Big fan. Follow him on YouTube. Hey Nick. What's up, buddy? I never bought tools from you before. Where should I? Where can I go to buy tools from you? Well, when you deal with us, Nick Morello, we have a lot of different options. I'll tell you what we got to do. First. We have, a, we have an interactive sales flyer, nickmorello.com. Second, we have a phone app. Yes, a phone app. I'm the only person in the world with a phone app. JD Tico, available in your iTunes store and your Play Store. Also, we have jerseydiscounttool.com, another spot. And uh, you'll find in our Facebook page is the biggest thing. We have 200,000 followers on our Facebook page. We're going to put a link up for that. It's called Snap On, Mac, Maco, Buy, Sell, Trade for Mechanics. Good, good page. Very interactive. And Black Friday, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. We do, we do mystery envelopes. We do mystery. What do we do? Mystery box. Mystery envelopes. All kinds of deals. We do doorbuster deals. We do all kinds of stuff. Any other questions, buddy? If you do, shoot one. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. I'm working. I'm ready to go. What's the thing you miss the most? About life before COVID-19. We'll mix it up a little bit. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I, 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 you know, my life has not really changed that much. I did go, I did lose a COVID 40 pounds though. Did you know that? Nick? I lost 40 pounds. Okay, COVID hit. I said, you know what? Time to get into good shape. Started eating better. Started exercising. And they told me, hey, listen, the camera puts on 15 pounds. So I took off 40 just for you guys. That's what I do. So anyway, I, the big thing I miss most is going out, sitting at the bar. Drinking and eating. That's what I miss. Besides that, my life's pretty much... I miss walking around New York City, too. Yeah, that, too. I used to love bar hopping through New York City. But I don't know if you heard. New York City's closed. But anyway, things are a little... Things are seem to be getting back to normal a little bit. And after the election, it's all going to go away. Anyway. All right. Now you got me sad, this whole COVID questioning. But anyway, you know, business has been very good, thank God, through the whole COVID. That's a true story, right? And I'm down 40 pounds. That's a bonus. I only live to be 100. That's what my cardiologist says. He goes, Nick, you're a perfect He says, if you die of a heart attack, he goes, whoo! He goes, it'll be fucking a miracle. You got a, you got a 1% chance. That's, I'll take that all day. I'm 99% to live. One year. I'll take it. All right. I'll get back to work. Hey, Nick! What, Nick? What do you do for, um, for lunch during the week on your tool truck? Mm. Well, that's the one thing that COVID got me. They, uh, I used to have a sit down. I used to go to a beautiful restaurant every day, have a nice salmon, a glass of wine, relax, answer questions on my phone. It was beautiful. I, I had the best life ever. But COVID kind of shut it down. So now my wife packs me lunch every day. The same thing every day. A salad with tuna or chicken, a yogurt, and two pieces of fruit. Good to be me, huh? Nick's having a, the time of his life in the back of his truck, depressing, eating a boxed lunch. Just shoot me. Hey, Nick. What? What are your long-term plans for the tool industry, if you have any? Well, I plan on getting thrown off YouTube because, you know, that's my goal in life. To get thrown off every piece of, as every aspect of social media I've ever been on. I've been thrown off numerous pages. Why? I'm kind of opinionated. But that's why you're going to love me. You're going to love me or you're going to hate me. And I'm okay with them odds. Because my theory is, out of all of is, 15% are going to hate me and try to, like, sabotage me and, like, do whatever they got to do to, like, to, to, to quell me. But the other 85% are going to buy tools. And I'm okay with that. So, you know what? Love me or hate me. And like we always say, come for the price, stay for the show.
1,000 subscribers, guys. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for letting us grow that fast. Next benchmark is 5,000. We're gonna hit 5,000. We'll give some. I'll give. I'll give my son's car away or something like that. Nick, get him on, dude. What? I do mine. Well, we're giving away anyway. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. And uh, again, 1,000 subscribers. That's fun. That makes me happy, man. Thanks. We're doing a giveaway. Out of the thousand people for the uh, the first subscribers, we're giving away a set of the Jersey Discount Tool three-piece cutting pliers. That's the prototype. The real ones are going to be in green, but that's the prototype. Going to give them away to somebody on a page. We'll do a random drawing. And uh, you know, again, thanks, guys. We're going to bring you. Our goal is to bring you into the life of Jersey Discount Tool. Good, bad, or indifferent. That, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make you guys part of the show, and, that, and that's our goal. We want you people to be. You know, part of the family. In the family, you know, we have we do a lot of things. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do more exciting things too. So get ready. Black Friday around here gets crazy, crazy. So get ready. Be ready to be ready. And uh, like we say, man, come for the price, stay for the show. What is your craziest tool truck story? Oh man, where do I start? Dude, that's a that's a tough one. Oh, I don't know, man. You know what? What about recently? <laughs> Within the last six months? Dude, you stumped me. <laughs>